Finish this on like the talk, you know. But like a manifest he. Cause like he was a real Jones man. They say parents used to carry the train by he when they get in trouble, you know. And he bust the backside. Everybody did like him, he was down to everybody now. Cancer. That what they say. I ain't get it, I ain't get it report. I, ain't, I, I forget to take up the death certificate. Baby girl, what's up with you, honey? Mm hmm? How much more people come in? Okay. The son, no, not the son, the brother or something? Oh yes. Your Barbara? Oh, oh, you have two kids with him. All right, all right. Spiritual Baptist? No way. What will you do? What we have to do for you? Don't worry, sir. Or you walk with bell and I mean, chalk and thing. But nobody tell me that, you know that, you know. No, you don't do a thing now. Who in charge in the funeral, by the way? Who in charge? Alright, when they come, we'll talk now, talk with them. They lock off somewhere there, you know. Yeah. They lock off. They lock off um, Nelson Street, so I don't know. Me and I don't walk in the chalk. They tell me nothing. So I know. It must. If it's a candle, go walk a candle. Hey, Durant. I ain't taking no assault, eh? People passing and bouncing me for nothing. Durant, I ain't playing that, eh? Yeah, I go bust up there and I'm a pastor, but I could walk out behind the you know. Oh, you see, you know. You make your dressing suit for three days. Give me something now. Eh, eh. When? All right. To see if it's COVID. All right.
things like these sometimes you just get so flustered yeah. especially when you don't know what you're doing exactly. i understand sometimes they just call sometimes people just call they want to talk to the minister when they talk to me i said what's happening but i said listen the program is there we'll work with the program yeah. so you don't have to worry yourself now everything will work out all right so don't fret up yourself Stephanie Percy is there. Winston Bernard, uh, not Win Winston, but Winston Storm Bernard. I used to spell it. Right. Yeah, Nine people on here already. This one here? Yeah.
You ready? Sorry. You got it? Oh, okay. Yes, you can. And share it around now because nobody in have. Just leave one for me. That's what one. All right. You could have these, you know, in case. You all could keep these for whoever. Yeah. Whoever coming. Could we stand, please? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I am the resurrection and the life, say the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, my eye shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, it is certain we carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord had taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. They hear me good, right? Right. Have a seat, beloved. My condolences to the immediate family of Earl Riley. Let us bow our heads in prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed and eternal Father, thou great sovereign King, you who sent for thy only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of this world. At this holy and dedicated our Lord, I, thy servant and priest, come before thee, as I bring before thee, O Lord, your child, your creation, your creature. One Earl Riley. I ask, eternal Father, if this child of yours had cried to thee at his last hour, seek in mercy forgiveness, O Lord. Grant unto him, O Lord, forgiveness. Grant unto him, O Lord, your compassionate heart, that he too, O Lord, would ascend into the realms of paradise to sit with the company of saints for the great resurrection morn. Send forth, O Lord, thy Holy Spirit and thy angels, O Lord, to comfort them now in this time of grief. But let them know, O Lord, that once he has made peace with thee, that all is well with his soul. We let them be reminded, O oh Lord, that death one day will come to us all, and thus we must make our calling and our election sure. This we say through your holy and precious name. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us all sing Amazing Grace together. I warn you, I'm not a good singer, so you all will not embarrass me this evening. You all will sing along with me, right? Last time I sang, the dead went running outside. We don't want that today. Amazing Grace, how sweet the song. That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But now I'm found Was blind But now I see Was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believe through many just toil and snares I have already come This grace had brought me safe thus far And grace will lead me home 
The Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope, secures. He will my shield and pour. As long as life endures, when we've been there, when we've been there, Ten thousand years bright shining as the sun. We've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, try and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Would anybody like to come and just do the scriptural reading for me? If not, I would do it. I'm giving you all chance to participate. Anybody wishing to come? You have one of your choice or you want to? Let me choose one for you. Oh. I usually do two psalms and I, then I do the lesson, right? So I'll give you two psalms to do for me and I'll bring the lesson. Use the 39 psalm as the first psalm. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, just now, just now, my lady, just now, just now. Come on. Let me see if I can stick this here. Stick this here for me. I need to that room for dry. Oh, that's nice. Mm-mm, not stick. Mm-mm. Let me see if I can see it. Right there? Yeah? It doesn't work. If you could have a hook one. Right, it'll work. All right, good afternoon everyone the 39th psalm I said I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue I will keep my mouth with a bridle while the wicked is before me I was dumb with silence I held my peace even from good and my sorrow was stirred my heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burned then spake I with my tongue, Lord, make me to know mine end and the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days as an handbreadth, and mine age is nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Surely every man walketh in a vain shoe, Surely they are disquieted in vain. He heap up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened not my mouth because thou didst it. Remove thy stroke away from me. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. When thou, with, when thou with rebukest, dost correct man for iniquity, thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. Surely every man is vanity. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give air unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner as all my fathers were. O spare me, that I may recover strength before I go hence, and be no more. This is the word of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now and ever shall be, world without us. Amen. Being able to do. That's all right. Do the 90th Psalm for me, but not the whole thing I wanted to do. Not mm -hmm. for the 10th verse. The 10th. 
At the ten verse, you can stop there. From one to ten? Yeah. Psalms 90. Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest man to destruction, and sayest, Return, ye children of men. For a thousand years in thy sight are but yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with flood. They are asleep in the morning. They are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away. In thy wrath we spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are threescore years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet it is their strength, labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and we fly away. This is the word of the God. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be world without end. I thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else want to just bring their family to another lesson for me? Nobody? All you frightened? Come. You alright? Yeah. Alright. I was paying five dollars for a word, you know. <laughs> alright. So we move. I read for you from the book of Romans, the 14th chapter, verses 7 through to 9. Here we're starting. For none of us, for none of us liveth to him himself, and no man die to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both For this end Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be the Lord both of the dead and the living. Resting at the ninth verse, giving God the adoration and praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alright. So we have one of his sons on the life. I think it's in New York he lives. Sit. All right. Same thing for we. You know, we try. There's one just in New York, it's in America. So we have one on the live. Um, I can't remember. I don't know his name. Anthony. Anthony. Okay. Anthony, you can come now and you can do the eulogy. You hear in here? He still sits along the poor fellow. Let's see, go on, see, let's know. Uh, I don't know his name. Anthony, okay. Anthony, you can come now and you can do the eulogy. Please, okay. You guys can hear me. Can you hear me? He said, tell me to talk. Hello? Okay. Let's see. Did you hear me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to take this, uh, this, just want to take this, and I'm out, and I'm Television on night. The lawyer? Yeah.
China. Just stay with me, guys. We're trying to get it. Let's see. Okay. 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 Okay.
to be the center of attraction of your life. Let this, let this debt be uh, an encouragement or, or, or push you to come to a place where you can accept him because to die without Christ is, is the worst thing. It's a destructive place. You don't want to be there. So I encourage you, you know, today who does not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I encourage you that you will come and accept him because let me tell you, it, it does not, you can have all the money in the world, you can have all the houses, you can have all the land, you can have all the education. That works nothing when we all, when, a, when we come to that point in time, when this breath, this spirit, when it comes out of us, everything else we have will be worth nothing. The only thing that will stand is our relationship with our Lord and Savior. And He loved us so much, He made, he made a, a provision by sending His own Son to die on the cross so that you can have His righteousness and you can be saved from eternal damnation. To be, to be separated from God is eternal separation. There's no coming back. And you see, a lot of people today, uh, this is my eulogy, I have this opportunity, to, and, and this is what the Lord wants me to say. A lot of people today think that, that, that this whole thing about Christ, this whole thing about having a relationship with God is just some kind of fictitiousness of our imagination. But, but, but let me tell you, uh, friends, brothers, sisters, everybody who's listening to me, you know, this is not a joke. This is real. Our spirit, that breath that comes from God. It was separated and He made a provision so we can come back. To, so we can come back to Him. And that's by coming to His, 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 His Son, Jesus Christ. And I ask you today that, you know, if you were lying down in that coffin, are you ready? Are you ready? Do you have a relationship? Do you have eternal uh, everlasting life. Are you sure do you have a hope? So I just want to encourage you today that, that make sure that your election is sure. I want to encourage you today. Make sure that you, you know, that you have a relationship. That if you leave when you're leaving and the car hit you and knock you down, or if you, you know, all of a sudden you get this COVID and you bam, you just pass up. Are you ready? I just want to say, I mean, I, I 
I can't add any more to what my brother just uh, spoke about. But, um, you know, when come to my dad, he was really a loving, caring person. He really cared about us and cared about everybody that was around him. Very protective of uh, his family members. I remember when he, um, his brother was uh, in trouble and there was a, 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 a person that was going to, uh, this is uh, actually his brother, uh, Raleigh, a, a person I was going to throw a rock on Raleigh's, on Raleigh's head. And my dad just came up from nowhere and, and just hit that person upside down the head. If my dad was not there, Raleigh, I mean, would not have, his life would not have been spared. My dad was, my dad, he encouraged us to, uh, you know, to be educated, to, to uh, you know, be, be uh, an example, you know, in life. You know, and that, that, my dad was that type of person. When I reflect on him, he was, uh, he was the type of person that, you know, like I said, always cared, and the type of person that, um, you know, really reflecting me of what I am today is because of my dad. Um, I'm not much of a speaker, you know, and I, again, I have to say that I, I suffer with anxiety, but, um, you know, I, I remember when my, my, my dad took me um, for my first run. I was seven years old. He took me for my first run, and, 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 and he really encouraged me in physical fitness. Somebody else. And then when he did that, I never stopped running, even up to this day. I'm, I'm 62 years old, I'm going to be 63 in uh, November. And I'm still running, I'm still exercising. It's because of my dad, you know. I remember when my dad was in Trinidad and we moved to the Virgin Islands. My dad would, would get paid and then he would go on and, and transfer the money. It wasn't much, the money that wasn't there didn't have equal, but still. He still went and he changed the money, transferred and sent it to us in the Virgin Islands. And I, I appreciate it so much. It's because of him is uh, who I am today. He's uh, again a loving, caring person, a person that don't, you know, be straightforward, you know, and and, and uh, you know uh, I just I just am um, so glad to be here today. To, to uh, speak on his behalf. I, I, I loved him to death. I mean, over the past years, we, we uh, um, you know, communication was, you know, it wasn't too well, but I've always thought about my dad, and I know he always thought about us, you know. Um, I, I just want to thank everybody for putting this together. Tasha and um, all the family members, and I, I want to thank the, the pastor. I uh, want to thank everybody that was instrumental in, in uh, raging with the funeral home. I, I, I just want to thank you again, you know. And uh, this is how I'm going to remember my dad. And he's always going to be, you know, in my heart. Always going to be, he's my hero. He's my hero. And that's my, my uh, eulogy for the day. Oh, okay. Who it is again? Who just wanted to talk again? Hey. Alright, so we're going to turn it back over to the, to the minister. Somebody. To go ahead, you let them think. Who it is? Stephanie. <laughs> Um, this is this is Stephanie on behalf of the family, family, the old family, which is Michael, Anthony, Paulette, Natasha, <clears throat> so on behalf of my family, I would like to say I'm very sorry. As you know, Earl is my eldest part of grew up together. We had a lot of good times and we had a lot of hard times, but we did it. I will never forget him because he had a time when he had to go and support us. And I will always remember that. I will always
always give thanks to Him. So far, we got along very, very, very good. The last time I was in front of God, I had to see Him. To say, and He remembered me. He was forgetting, but when He hears heaven, He said, This is heaven. So we have, you know, I was on vacation, and every day I had the opportunity to go and visit Him. And when I was ready to leave, it was very sad because I know he was going down. You know? He was going down. But I remember, I don't wish you that I don't think I would forget. We all grew up together, good times, bad times. And the family that we have told him, Michael, Anthony, Natasha, Marcus, I will always remember you all. Oh, you have lost a good one. <coughs> we have heard a lot. Are you ready now? We have heard a lot. Yes. And everything was positive. A man that stood, did what he had to do. The thing about it is, his kids left, they went to the States. He was here. And he would still take what he had as a father. And in those days, I think it was two to one. In, those, in that time, I think it was two to one or maybe, yeah, because it was never, they always are up on us. Or four to one. And he would take whatever he had to ensure that his kids had. Says something. It says something to many. And I wish a lot of young men and fathers would try to emulate that. And when you are a father, that's your purpose. Your riches is not the money in the bank. Your riches are your kids and those you are assigned to take care of. When you say I do, it is for better. And it is for worse. As a parent, I know it well. But sometimes we are the last to eat. And our kids are the first to eat. You know, some parents will sleep on the best. And their kids will have to sleep on the ground. And I've, I always tell, when I had my first other kids and my wife, I say, allow them to sleep on the bed. It's okay. Let me enjoy the ground. And... He did his part. And this is what I wanted to hear. Sometimes, I just, I did a funeral this morning. Police officer died. And in all that they spoke, I was just waiting to hear one thing. <clears throat> one of the, the officers that spoke said they prayed. That's all I wanted to hear. People would say, you know, funerals, it was nice, it was this, it was that. So I'm not back and I'm not sweet. Because that's what people want in the funeral. But at the end of the day, nobody's going to jump down in that hole, you know. How much you love grandpa, you love daddy, you love uncle, you're not going down in that hole with him. He's going down there, and you're going home. But his journey has begun. According to the scripture. That if you die... You cannot die on you. If you die unto yourself, you have, it's nothing. But Christ died, and more so, he rose from the dead. That you and I have a chance that we can say, O death, where is thy sting? And O grave, where is thy victory? The soldier that pierced the side of Jesus became a saint. History says that. He was blinded by the light because he was one that guarded the tomb. They considered him a madman. And there was a famous statement he made. That if you die before you die, when you do die, you will not die. Earl Riley lived his life. 
educated his kids to his best ability. They are proud of him. And I'm certain that you guys will be proud of your daddy. What he did, what he stood for. And the more things you ought to be more proud of, my father submitted to God. I don't want to know what kind of life you live in your past, you know. That's not my concern. Everybody talks about what we used to do. And nobody takes a little peep of where we are at and where we are going. It is easier to bring negativity or darkness onto a soul than try your best to let the light shine. And if his words to God was, Master, have mercy on me, this sinner. Just those words. It would account more significant and has a greater impact that you sit there and read the whole book of Psalms for him. And you just recite it. It is not the multitude of words that would make us. It is sincerity of words that you have uttered to God. And this is what we are doing. Earl Riley has lived his life. 85, three scores and 10. And if by, strength of re if by reason of strength, there be four score years. So he made the four, four score years. But what happened? Yet, in all of that, he's going home. He had the privilege to, have his, to see his grandkids and his great-grandkids. So he saw three generations. His children, his grandchildren, and his great-grandchildren. That's a privilege he had. And I'm certain he enjoyed that privilege. So, he's now going. Many would remember him. The, those who are close, his, peer, his, his, his children, his grandchildren. Yes, you would remember grandpa. You remember daddy. But remember this. Many will not remember him. And even though you may forget him one day. God will not forget him. Remember that. That he would find himself among the saints. I remember once listening to a lecture. And the priest once said, we all want the best for our kids. Yes, obviously. Good education, you know, to ensure that they have a good job. That they will have this and they'll have that. He said, but we tend to forget while we are applying those things, the virtues of God must be applied with equal standard. As much as you would study, it is as equal as you must pray. Because prayer becomes the buffer to many things. It lessens anxiety. It takes away trauma. And you become more focused because why? You have placed your lives in the hands of God. Anthony, I mean, Earl did it and not his way. He did it the way God wanted him to do it. It says something about this man. That his kids could stand and testify, Daddy ensured that we were good. Not many children could say that, you know. I love him, you know, but he was one old wrench in his days. They can't say that. Their father stood with them at the end of the day. If there is anything to learn from it, learn from his, his virtues. That he stood by his responsibility. I'm, I'm certain that he would have gotten his pension and he might have, people might have come and said, okay, okay, okay. And maybe one of his daughters would come and say, Daddy, everything I, I really not give. I kind of broke. But Daddy, you God is only 10 to the month. You know, them think, come on. Am I wrong? What do you do? Do you don't quarrel with him? Give it back to him. Because he ensures that others have. That is a virtue that is lacking in our society. Everybody now is for the self, you know. All they realize that? The world is about ourselves. And this darkness that is spreading upon the world that people are getting scared about is the most beautiful time in the world. 
People getting frightened when I say that, eh? People dying and people getting scared. And hatred seems to abound and immorality seems to come and there is darkness upon the land. It is the golden age for us. Why? Have you ever seen when Curran go strike one match? Just one match. Strike it. What happens? The whole room ignites. What, are the, what is the words of our Lord? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, not you. Don't beat your chest like Taz, I know, like King Kong. Your Father in heaven. And this is the time people like Earl has left that legacy for you guys. That your light must shine. People may hate you. You just hear them bad talking here. But they have to come to you to sign this document. What do you do? Your duty is to sign it, sign it. Leave them alone. It's their mouth. Let them say what they want. Many will say sign it. And one time they sign it, you want to sign it. You'll leave that in for next week, you know. But hear this. Let God be true. May the soul of Earl Riley find himself among the saints. I am happy to know that his sons and his daughters and his, I pray that his granddaughters and all those who are here would follow in the same set pattern as daddy or grandpa did. Oh yes, he had faults. Don't tell me he was no saint. He was no saint. I guarantee that. But which one of us perfect? Show me now. Show me a perfect man now when I tell you the time, the hour that Jesus is coming. I'll give you the answer. But you know why I can't give you the answer? There is not one that is perfect. But in the midst of his imperfections and the things that made him look bad, don't throw it away. Don't erase it from his book. Do the opposite. Learn from it. And the virtues that he had embrace it and become someone so the both the both the negative and the, and the and the positive it has to have a balance and negativity comes that we would know that we are only human our father david the prophet who is king david he always cried in the psalms have you not read the psalms so here he always cried why have thou forsaken me why hast thou not walked with my army? Why hast thou taken... And he keep crying. Ever so often in his Psalms, he keep crying to God. Why? Because he knows that there is a point in time God's draw, God draws back. And when he draws back, it's called the dry spell. And when that dry spell comes, we, would, we tend to fall into diverse temptations. You know why he draws back? To let you know that he is God and God alone. Why did your father, your grandfather, had to go through this separation? Because God loved him. Some people say he did wicked, he closed down my shop all the time. That inspector, that man was one old cross, never passed my shop. You remember the inspector, right? <laughs> you see, he don't dare that again, pension to a good frame. Come on. At the end of the day, hear this. Pain and affliction is good for us. It reminds us that we are only mortals. It reminds us that God is in charge. And when pain takes you, the two things you could do, you know. Turn your face and curse God or beg God for mercy. You choose. Many of us are scared and I close with this. Many of us are scared. We are scared to die. Yes, we are scared to die. Now finish and build the house. Oh God, you'll take me now, Father. And now married. Oh God, I'm still young, Jesus. How are you going to take me now? I need to. But hear this. Christianity braces you for death. It doesn't brace you for no fancy life. That's a lie. You get it? You get nice niceties in life? Fair enough. But it braces you for death. That when you do die, you will not die. But you will not have a second death. Christianity braces you for that. 
And if you take anything else of Christianity, forget it, because Christianity is not for the faint-hearted. You see what is happening in the world today? Darkness is roaming our lands. Death is very eminent. But why are we scared? Why? If Christ is for me, who can be against me? But if I have to die in the morning, my, I'm not afraid of dying. You know, you know what I'm afraid of? More than that, judgment. Die, we are all born to die. We see that judgment? I go beat my chest and say, my dead now, I ain't too sure where I'm going, you know. I know where I'm supposed to go. But if my life that I claim to be so holy may not stand to the measures of God, then I am in a big disappointment with myself. So I ain't fooling myself. I'm not going up proud. I'm going with my head bent. And when I meet before the king, I will not stand. I will kneel. Let him tell me rise. For if I go to the banquet hall, I will not take the biggest, the highest seat. I will sit at the lowest seat. Let the Lord of the banquet come and say, Come, my brother. Come, my son. Come, my child. Come sit on that seat. Earl Riley lived his life. And I'm certain he enjoyed himself. I'm certain he enjoyed himself. In all ways he enjoyed himself. But in all the midst of it all, he had the still had the grace and the comfort of God that on upon his thing he made peace with God God put him through his transformation period which is his sickness his afflictions that's his, that's his transformation in the midst of his sickness if he had once you have God you will endure the pain and some of us we just immortalize our parents when it's time for them to go more they want them to live the next day Oh, daddy shouldn't live. Oh, God, oh, God, Jesus, not today. Where daddy stay back now, God, just for till the month. And poor daddy's suffering, and all you want to do is see him suffer? Because we love him. And because of our love, we try to throw that, you know, we try to challenge God. But his time came. 85 is a lot of years. I'm doing for how much years now, about 20 something years. And I, if I put out my list for you, 75% of them ain't crossed to tears. When I turn and tell them, I say, all oh, you're making the funeral home rich and I always have money. I was right in front here. That time it was here. They fall off the chair laughing and say, Pastor, he's a comedian. And I'm watching them. And I live to see what is happening now. Beloved, be good to yourselves. As you moan, you would feel sad. Yes. But go with the consolation that grandpa, daddy, brother, uncle is safe in the arms of our Savior. May God bless you all. To those on the live, be strong. To his children, hold your head up high. If you falter as fathers out there, all you have a price to answer to God. If you're, because the way you spoke of your father, he was excellent in every way despite his faults he made you who you are and you're proud of it then display it and let that same virtue of your father be upon you and unto your children that in the midst of the darkness that you may it may see there let them know that you are the light of christ with these words beloved you all could sing this song here yeah? Because all you realize I can't sing, right? So all you gonna embarrass me. Otherwise, I'll get his song to be played. Who is Patricia? All right. When I am down and my soul is weary, when troubles come and my heart burden be. Yeah, I can let it play on the thing. You know, have a DJ here, another in house DJ, you know. DJ, thank you. I'll pay tomorrow. I don't have no money now. Just now, I'll get it played for you. Don't worry. She was singing in a Baptist version. Just now, you'll get it here. Hold on. You raise me up, eh? All right, just now, you'll get it. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm. 
You get it? All right, go ahead. Sorry. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Earl Riley, Earl Riley, Earl Riley. Thou hast dealt well, thou hast dealt well with thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I have believed thy commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I have kept thy word. Thou art good and thou do and doest good. Teach me thy statutes. The proud of fortune lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is fat as grease, but I delight in thy law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. The law of thy mouth is better unto me than thousands of gold and silver. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Earl Riley, Earl Riley, Earl Riley. Thy hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding, and I may learn thy commandments. They that fear thee will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in thy word. I know, O Lord, thy judgments are right, and that thou in thy faithfulness hast afflicted me. Let I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be my comfort according to thy word unto thy servant. Let thy tender mercies come unto me that I may live, for thy law is in my delight, is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. But I will meditate in thy precepts, let those that fear thee turn unto me, and those that have known thy testimonies. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes, and I shall not be afraid. Ashamed, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Earl Riley, Earl Riley, Earl Riley. My soul fainted for thy salvation, but I hope in thy word. My eyes fall from thy word. My eyes fail for thy word, saying, When will thou comfort me? For I have become like a bottle, like a bottle in the smoke. I have become like a bottle in the smoke, yet I do not forget thy statutes. How many are the days of, of thy servant that thou wilt execute judgment on them that prosecute me? The proud of the pits for me that they that which are not after thy law. All thy commandments are faithful. They prosecute me wrongfully, help thou me. They have consumed me upon they have almost consumed me upon the earth, but I forsake not thy precepts. Quicken me after thy loving kindness, so shall I keep thy testimonies of thy mouth. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Earl Riley, Earl Riley, Earl Riley. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth and it abided. They continue this day according to thine ordinance, for all are thy servants. Unless thy law have been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast picked me. I am thine, save me. I am thine, save me. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end of all perfections, but thy commandments is exceedingly broad. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Kimon? Kimon? Only you have that? There's a certain ceremony you can't get there. There's a certain which I, I gave him this part to, to appease God and his soul unto the Most High. There are certain things you can't give to a people. So don't be back, don't be angry with me in certain things, right? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, man that is born of a woman has got a short time to live and is full of misery. He cometh up and is cut on like a flower, fleet as it were shadow, and never continue in one state. In the midst of life, we endure the fool we seek for succor. But of you, O Lord, for sins are to justly speak. 
Yet, O Lord God, most holy, O Lord, most mighty, holy, and merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, Lord, the secret of our hearts, shut not thy mercifully for the rest of prayer. But spare us, Lord, most holy, O God, most mighty, O holy, and merciful Savior, Thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at the last only pains of death to fall from thee. For as much as it please, Almighty God, of his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of our dear brother Earl Riley. He had departed, we therefore commit his body to the ground. Urge to it. Say the come on. Then we hear my son of me talking too much. Ashes to ashes. And dust to dust. In the sure hope of the resurrection through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who have changed our vile body, like it be unto his glorious body, according to the mighty work which he have able to subdue all things unto himself. I heard the voice of heaven saying, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, even so say the Spirit, for they shall rest from their labors. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O gracious and eternal Father, thou great suffering King. I ask and I beg of thee, O Lord, that thou shalt dispatch Michael the archangel, and the guardian angel of earth, cry O Lord. Clothe him now with his baptismal clothes, O Lord, and grant him the palm of victory in his hands, that as he makes his ascension onto the gates of paradise, for I know the evil one will try to harm him. But let them not let them fail in their ever request, O Lord, to bring him down. Grant his soul entrance, O Lord, to sit with the company of saints, I ask of him. Let Michael the Archangel stand for him and guide him along his way. And the guardian angel be with him. This we ask to Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide us all now and forevermore. Amen. 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 So, beloved, you ought to sing this last song. If not, we can ask the DJ to play it again for us. I shall not walk alone. You ought to sing it. DJ, we go over for this one. I shall not walk alone. I know. Oh, there's a song or there's a... Yeah, this ought to be a song. It's a Catholic song because I'm seeing here with our blessed mother's name in it. Mary, Mother Mary. I reach for Mother Mary and I shall not walk alone. Yeah, I reach for Mother Mary. Twice here. I'm tired and weary. I'm a long way from home. I reach for Mother Mary. I shall not walk alone. It's on the it's about the Virgin, about the Blessed Virgin. Who's going to take this? If not, we would just think. You want the next one? A long that we all should know? There's a land that is fairer than thee. And by faith we will see Get it? Oh. For the Father waits over me Where was the land In the sea By and by By and by we shall meet On that beautiful shore In the sweet, in the sweet By and by And our spirit shall sorrow no more. Not a sign for the blessing of rest in the sweet, in the sweet by and by. By and by we shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet. 
Ya ma hermano, yo vine para ir de este mochiba. Vale, sale, ven a ti que voy, no hay que estar por el something. Eso.